Welcome to House of the Bins near Linlithgow. It has been owned by the DL family for over 400 years. General Tam DL even claimed to play cards with the devil. Firstly, I would like to thank the National Trust for Scotland and House of the Bins for allowing me to film at this beautiful site. If you want to see some historic and beautiful locations in Scotland, check out the National Trust for Scotland's website. I would suggest visiting the House of Bins as it is truly beautiful and has some great spooky stories. In 2013, archaeologists on a routine visit to the estate discovered a prehistoric burial site. They found bones in a small hill and after further investigation realised it was an Iron Age burial site. The bones belonged to two men buried 2,000 years ago. They also found strange lines scored across one skeleton's teeth. You will notice some ivy growing on the wall. It is well worth coming to see it during autumn to see the change in colour. It is truly spectacular. Binns Tower sits on the highest point of Binns Hill. It is believed a Pictish fort was once built on the site. Built in 1826, it is said it was the result of a wager. Sir James D.L. had the tower built to annoy his new neighbours. Thomas Steele was a successful butter merchant and purchased the estate from his earnings. The house was completed in 1630. You will notice from my videos some peacocks roaming the grounds. It is said as long as the peacocks live on the grounds, so will the DLs. Bins in Gaelic means hills, so it is in fact House of the Hills. Thomas's son, General Tam Diel, also known as Bloody Tam for his treatment of the Coveneers, has a huge history and too much to discuss right now. You can find out all about him online. Every family has a black sheep. This can be said 
of Bloody Tam. I will share some highlights from his history. He was born in Linlithgow Shire. He was part of the Scottish Army from an early age. He spent time imprisoned in the Tower of London before he made his escape abroad. He then took part in a Highland Rebellion before fleeing to Russia. He spent time in the service of Tsar Alexis I as a general. Later, he returned to Scotland. It was here he fought the Covenators. He died in 1685, and since then, House of the Bins has earned a reputation for being one of the most haunted places to visit in Scotland. There have been many accounts of his ghost galloping across the grounds on a white stallion. It is also said his boots walk the grounds by themselves. House of the Bins is most famous for the general's dealings with the devil. He claimed to pay, play cards with the devil occasionally. It would only be fitting that such a man would play cards with the devil. It said he once beat the devil at cards and the devil was in such a rage he picked up a marble table and threw it at Bloody Tam. He missed and the table smashed through the window. It landed in a pond nearby. It wasn't till many years later when the pond dried out a marble table was found in 1878. A stain was found on the table and the stain was in the shape of a hoof. Having the horrific history this man has, I could quite honestly believe he was in league with the devil.